Dwight Howard turned down the Warriors for the Wizards. Hi everyone, thanks for hanging out with us here at The Fumble. I'm your host, Jessica Wills. You can follow me on Instagram at JessRenee22. And to make sure that you never miss a Fumble update, go ahead and click that subscribe button to stay in the know about all your favorite sports teams and athletes. There are not too many players that would turn down playing for the back-to-back -back NBA champions, Golden State Warriors right now. But surprisingly, Dwight Howard, coming off of one of his best seasons ever, told Golden State, thanks, but no thanks, after being in talks with them and then ultimately choosing the Wizards as his next destination. Howard told NBC Sports, Golden State called and I thought about them, but once John sent me that message, I was like, man, I couldn't tell him at first, but I was like, man, I'm gonna be a wizard. That was my mindset. So does Dwight Howard deserve some praise for turning down the Warriors? Everyone is so quick to smear any player who does join the championship team. Maybe Dwight is owed some pats on the back for taking the road less traveled. When Dwight was apparently in talks with the Warriors, the Wizards, John Wall reached out to him and Dwight got excited at the chance to play alongside him. Dwight said this about Wall reaching out to him. No lie, when I saw the message on Instagram, I got happy. I was like, John just DM'd me. Oh man, this is crazy. After that, I really just started to put on my thinking cap. I just thought about the possibilities. I was like, man, this could be the best spot for me. So basically, just like an IG model might feel, it was a DM from Wall on Instagram that got Dwight thinking about the future possibilities of scoring with the Wizards. Howard's deal to join the Wizards was $5.3 million for one year with the player option after next season. Howard has received a reputation for being a somewhat toxic locker room presence, so to think of him almost joining the Warriors is interesting. And even more interesting is him declining them when he was missing that coveted piece of championship jewelry to wear on his finger. Dwight doesn't have a championship, but that is not stopping him from declaring that he deserves to be in the NBA Hall of Fame. Dwight Howard told TMZ this, I don't really concern myself with what a lot of people say about me. My resume speaks for itself. I know what I've done in this NBA, in my career, think I've been pretty successful. So I need to know what you think about Dwight Howard. Was that a dumb move on his part to not go to the Warriors? And do you think he is definitely a sure bet for the NBA Hall of Fame? Let me know in the comments below. On the road less traveled, Dwight Howard awaits to start the NBA season with John Wall, and that may be a good thing for both of them. Dwight is coming off a great season, and if he can keep it going and even improve on last year, it could be a great thing. We'll have to wait and see if this decision really was a good move for Dwight, but do you think he's kissing his chances of ever getting a ring goodbye? Let me know in the comments below. If you're not on the Warriors these days, or at least in the Western Conference, it seems pretty grim to me. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us here at The Fumble. I'm Jessica Wills. Be sure you like, subscribe, and comment before you go, and we'll see you next time.